Hello and welcome to a short demonstration on the method that I use to add names and logos onto models that I've built. In this case, it's a very special model for me. It was the last model that I built for a friend and covered for a friend and it was the last one that he saw flying before he sadly passed away. And this model's been forwarded on to me, so I want to honour that by completing it by putting the name of the model on. You can see it's a Junior 60. And I also want to put Dennis's name onto the model. So the technique I use is I print off the logo, the insignia that I desire, and then I cut through the shape and the solar film underneath. So in this case, I'm using a very deep blue, almost black, so it's ideal for showing up. Tape that down to a cutting board, cut through the letters, and then I have a little pile of individual letters that I can use for the insignia. However, as you can imagine, it's easy to get these out of line. So what you do, you use the cutout, stick it into the position you want to line things up, and then simply iron on, in fact, all you do, this last letter R, I've only just put it in position. Apply a little bit of heat at one end, and the other end. And there, it doesn't have to be fully tacked at that point. And then lift the covering back, and you can see that they're now in a neat formation, the way that you want it to go on. Now, the 60 doesn't necessarily have to be in that location. I'll relocate this. 60 will go there. And then Dennis's name will appear there. So that's just a simple technique for applying names, logos to models. I hope that's helpful to people. Um, so get flying. And if you can't get flying, get creative with a building board and a modeling knife.